Sierra Leone under Stevens and Momo, 1969 to 1996. The colony of Freetown was established in 1787 and became a haven for slaves liberated by the Royal Navy's anti-slavery patrols. Some of the slaves returning became part of the elite Creole society that believed that it was higher in status than the natives. The returners and members of the Creole society believed their education gave them an advantage. They used this advantage to establish themselves in the civil service and became the point of contact with both European and Lebanese business people. The first modern political movement in Sierra Leone was started by Wallace Johnson. It was called the West Africa Youth League, and its membership included all types of people in Sierra Leone. After the 1939 war, the British administration thwarted the growth of the movement because they feared that it would append their power. Other parts that emerged in Sierra Leone, parties that emerged in Sierra Leone, were the Sierra Leone People's Party led by Milton Magai. This party primarily represented the Mende people. All People's Congress, which primarily represented the Teme people of the Northwest. The Creoles supported the APC All People's Congress in the 1967 election, which and won. But their power was short-lived. After the elections, there were two military coups that helped to install a southern-dominated military government. Siaka Stevens came into power after the third coup in 1969, but his power was constantly challenged by the opposition. They even attempted to assassinate him in 1971. He responded by executing the people accused of planning the plot and signing an agreement to have Guinea troops protect his power. He also made himself president. In the 1973 election, APC won, but tensions remained high in the country. In 1978, the parliament amended the constitution to make APC the only legal party. Many SLPP representatives joined the APC and Siaka Stevens was able to become president for a seven year term. In the midst of this, President Stevens was able to host the OAU summit meeting and was even knighted by Queen Elizabeth of England. During his government, he was accused of corruption in the diamond trade and in Vouchergate, a scandal that revealed the government was paying for services not rendered. It is estimated that about 90% of the diamonds that were mined in Sierra Leone at the time were being smuggled out of the country through unofficial means. Therefore, the government could not benefit from the proceeds of the diamond trade. During the 1980s, many groups began to protest the government mismanagement of resources. Workers organized a general strike in 1980, and in 81 and 85, students rioted to protest the government. In 1984, an opposition party was formed by politicians in the diaspora. As the pressure mounted, Stephen attempted to appease the masses by choosing General Joseph Momo as his successor, who would run for president for, AP, for the APC party. After a few years, it became clear that nothing much had changed and mismanagement continued to be rampant in government. In 1990, Momo ordered a review of the 1978 constitution. The committee recommended a return to multi-party democracy and the amendment was ratified in October 1991. During this time, Ulimo forces from Liberia set up camps in Sierra Leone as a hub from which they would fight Liberia's NL NPFL. NPFL used this as a reason to invade Sierra Leone. And to protect the country's boundaries, Sierra Leone sought the help of Nigeria and Guinea to keep the NPFL out. This crisis led to the civil war in Sierra Leone and Momo announced a state of emergency. Many in the army became discontent and the government's supply about the government's supply to the military. Captain Valentine Stresser decided to launch a coup to protest mismanagement and corruption by the government. He suspended civil liberties, the constitution, he censored the press and stopped any public assembly and association to prevent people from congregating. A coup was launched against Strasser in January 1996 and elections were held in February. 